Welcome to People Tech, the podcast of the HCM Technology Report. I'm Mark Pfeffer. My guest today is Alexander Kwame. He's the founder and CEO of Pathlight, a platform that helps manage team performance by combining metrics with coaching and communications tools. We'll talk about the product, who uses it, and the impact of COVID-19. All in this edition of People Tech, brought to you by NetSuite. If you're a business owner, you know that running a business is tough, but maybe you're making it more difficult than it has to be. Don't let QuickBooks and spreadsheets slow you down anymore. It's time to upgrade to NetSuite. Let NetSuite show you how they'll benefit your business with a free product tour at netsuite.com slash HCM. And now, Alexander Kwame, welcome. Tell me about Pathlight. What, what does it do? Yeah, so we're trying to do something different uh, with Pathlight. Um, we are building a platform for managing people every day. It's funny, you know, the last couple of years, we've seen an explosion in software. Uh, every job uh, has beautiful software. But this really important role of managing people, especially people in data-driven roles, especially large teams, on a daily basis, you know, making sure that they're successful uh, and pointing them in the right direction, that job is still completely manual. Uh, I think if you were to look at any uh, manager or leader, and I'm sure a lot of the folks listening here, and look at their browser, it's probably 40 tabs of reports and spreadsheets and docs just to, to keep track of everything. So we felt like there was a, a, an interesting opportunity, really exciting opportunity. Finally, uh, the conditions exist for a new platform uh, to be built uh, to streamline and automate management and just make managers' lives easier uh, so that they can focus on uh, the human side of their job, the weather app for their career and for, for performance. Just like you can see, it's going to rain without having to, to uh, analyze the barometer readings. Uh, technology should be able to help you as a manager understand how your team is doing without you having to interpret reports or, or, or port them into spreadsheets and run formulas. So uh, a manager is going to log into Pathlight in the morning and Pathlight's going to tell them very simply, very clearly, hey, Mark, you know, happy, happy Tuesday. Your team's doing great this week, but you should keep an eye on, you know, KPI, ABC, let's call it CSAT because Ignacio um, uh, is trending down. And so maybe you should chat with them about that today. So just pointing them in the right direction, helping them understand what they need to work on, and then providing one-click actions um, for them to do those things. And so from that from that prompt, they could kick off a coaching message to Ignacio. They could add it as a note on their one-on-one -on -one agenda in Pathlight. And then throughout the day, they're, they're checking in. They're communicating with their team. Um, Pathlight uh, also allows them to do really quick uh, uh, announcements um, and operational discussions. Uh, but most importantly, just making sure that their team is on track, having one-on-ones through the platform, all the data and communications in one place. And then, you know, at the end of the day or the end of the week or the end of the month, having longer term conversations or more holistic conversations where they're looking back at that period. And Pathlight brings in all that information automatically so that, again, we can, we can spend, you know, 90% of that meeting um, on the high value activities uh, high value coaching and not just status updates and hey, what happened? Mm -hmm. Now, d does this replace other software that managers might be using and other software their their team members might be using, or is it a, a new product that fits into their existing suite? Yeah, and the, the reason Pathlight exists is that there was no software uh, uh, to replace, uh, and we've replaced more a workflow than a than a tool. And so, when 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 our users are on Pathlight. They're, they're using their dashboards and reports significantly less. They're using spread, spreadsheets significantly less. They're even using email and docs significantly less. And so uh, we really replaced this kind of strung together manual workflow with, with software. Um, and of course, some of those parts of the workflow happen in, in, in tools, but that entire workflow um, is completely manual, which is, which is why Pathlight exists. Now, how does it work in the sense of... Um if it's alerting you that Ignacio needs some coaching this week, how does it know that? So uh, one of the key parts of Pathlight is we connect in to the core data systems and software platforms that, that many companies use. We have uh, dozens of integrations. Um, and the idea is that 
uh, Pathlight should be doing the integrations and the syncing and, and meshing all of that data, uh, not the manager, not the employee. We want to do that for them. So we are integrated into, uh, let's say, Zendesk and Salesforce and Stella and then maybe even the company's internal data warehouse uh, or custom uh, you know, in-house CRM or something like that. So we are connected into those core data systems um, and pulling in that data into, into one place. Let's take a quick break. You're listening to People Tech from the HCM Technology Report. This edition is brought to you by NetSuite. Stop paying for multiple systems that don't give you the information you need when you need it. Let NetSuite show you how they'll benefit your business with a free product tour at netsuite.com HCM. NetSuite gives you the visibility and control over your financials, HR, inventory, e-commerce, and more. Everything you need all in one place instantaneously. So ditch the spreadsheets and all the old software that you've outgrown. Let NetSuite show you how they'll benefit your business with a free product tour. Find it at netsuite.com slash HCM. Now, back to my conversation with Alexander Kwame, the CEO of Pathlight. Is Pathlight tailored for particular industries or particular types of businesses? Yeah, great question. Uh, our initial focus um, is on data-driven teams, the teams that manage against data and KPIs uh, every day. And so, uh, understandably, uh, Pathlight right now is really focused on customer-facing teams, uh, customer service, sales, field organizations, um, trust and safety, um, those types of organizations. But uh, our long-term view is that uh, sales and customer service are just ahead, a few years ahead of every other role. I'm sure as you see in, in, in your day-to-day job, you know, work is digitizing everywhere we look and every role is, is getting digital, just like sales and CS has. And so in a few years, uh, you know, even, even roles like truck driving and nursing are going to be in the same position. And so we are definitely keeping our eye on the horizon. We're starting with sales and customer support today, but very soon we will be branching out into uh, other use cases. What's it look like from the employees? And is it an app? Is it something that sits in their desktop or laptop? Both the, it's, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's both. We're, we're on the web and, and we're on iOS and Android. And that's actually incredibly valuable, especially if you think back to that weather app analogy, to be able to take out your phone and see how you're doing at work is, you know, uh, this new generation of, of, of workers expects that because they can take out their phone and do everything else. Uh, and they can't do this. Uh, there's a lot of excitement around the, the mobile side of, of Pathlight. Um, you know, a manager or a leader is probably on a laptop uh, or desktop using the Pathlight web app. Um, and then when they're on the go or kind of popping into a meeting, um, you know, in pre-COVID days, uh, they can they can pull out their phone. And then the frontline employees are, are, are using, you know, whatever device they, they use on a daily basis. And, and sometimes that's a, that's a desktop. Um, but also we have folks in the field, customers who have uh, users in the field who only have a phone. And before they had Pathlight, they were running off of printouts. Um, it was kind of the dark ages. And so now they're able to pull out their phone and see exactly how they're doing. Um, and then communicate with those around them on, on how to get better, which, is, which has been pretty exciting. Let me shift gears a little bit, step back and, and talk about the business, you know, the business being HR and, and HR software. We're recording this in January of 2021. Um, we have a new administration coming in in Washington, still in the middle of a, of a pandemic that's been with us for almost a year. What are you expecting this year to look like uh, in terms of adoption of your product in terms of employers being willing to take on, you know, new products and invest in new products. What, what, what are you sort of gearing up for? Yeah. So I would say with any new product, um, regardless of the kind of macro uh, conditions, you know, you're, you're, you're first looking for the early adopters and the, and the, and the believers, uh, especially when you're doing something new and innovative. Uh, you're looking for the folks who, who, who understand that. Um, and, and see the potential well ahead of the market. And, and, and that, of course, is, is kind of the playbook for, for any new technology company. I would say what the pandemic has done is really shaken up the status quo for the, what, for the companies that would have been later adopters, enterprise strategic companies, Fortune 500 companies. They've had to, as we all know, just like everyone else, totally rethink their playbook 
um, from uh, obviously all things HR. The HR playbook is probably the one that's been the most ripped up in, in the last year as, as, as everything has changed. And, and part of that is, is how you manage. You know, managing people was hard when you were six feet apart, and it's uh, much harder when you're 60 miles apart. What we have seen um, is we've seen an interesting uh, acceleration and in, uh, interest at the enterprise side, um, when normally those companies uh, are more conservative, and uh, you know they basically take more convincing and more time. Um, uh, they are interested in actively pursuing novel technologies, uh, just to you know make sure that they can uh, make the new normal work for them and continue to run successful businesses. So that's an interesting thing that we've seen on the on the enterprise side. Um, and of course, you know, these are the folks who are now managing 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 uh, people. And so the, the problems are, 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 are big and the pain is acute and potential impact and the amount of people we could help is significantly greater. So we're excited about that. Well, Alexander, thanks very much for taking the time to talk today. Really appreciate it, Mark. Thank you. My guest today has been Pathlight CEO, Alexander Kwame here on PeopleTech, the podcast of the HCM Technology Report. This edition was brought to you by NetSuite. Whether you're doing a million or hundreds of millions of revenue, save time and money with NetSuite. Join the over 24,000 companies using NetSuite right now. Upgrade to NetSuite by Oracle, the world's number one cloud business system. Schedule your free product tour right now at netsuite.com slash HCM. That's netsuite.com slash HCM. PeopleTech is a member of Evergreen Podcasts. You can check out other shows at www.evergreenpodcasts.com. And to keep up with HR technology, visit the HCM Technology Report every day. We're the most trusted source of news in the HR tech industry. Find us at www.hcmtechnologyreport.com. I'm Mark Feff. Do you love news about LinkedIn, Indeed, Google, and just about every other recruitment tech company out there? Hell yeah. I'm Chad. I'm Cheese. We're the Chad and Cheese Podcast. All the latest recruiting news and insights are on our show. Dripping in snark and attitude. Subscribe today wherever you listen to your podcasts. We We out. Faith in the news media has been challenged, making it even harder to get stories told. The Friday Reporter podcast was created to help audiences better understand the media by hosting journalists who will answer the questions to which we need answers. Join me every Friday to hear more.